Hello friend, welcome back to Total Maintenance YouTube channel. I have today in my shop this awesome 2015 Prius V with approximately 75,000 miles on the odometer. And the reason it came is to have installed that protective catalyst converter shield. So let's go and look at it. I already filmed for you like three weeks ago 2010 Prius catalytic converter shield install from our great supplier CAT shield and this is different therefore it's worth filming and seeing the installation the CAT shield supplied us with the Prius V. So this is what you can see here again that's how the screws or the mounting hardware if I can say that way comes. There are instructions here on the side you can immediately see it's different I will be not bending these areas on this one like on 2010 Prius. So let's get her up and let's start this install. This is what you find after you lift the vehicle 2015 Prius V so we will start with removal of this shield there are four plastic fasteners right or that you have a tool like this many times as they get older they break anyway and they might be not reusable the idea is they are reusable but the age and the heat sometimes destroys them this one seems to be totally fine this one might go even faster look at it oh yeah nice maybe even the last one can be saved for the future repairs okay the shield is off. Now I'm supposed to undo this 10 millimeter to be able to put that bracket, holding bracket on the side. It just happened. And the kit uses those four holes. It just needs to be enlarged. And we will be putting there with special tool this brass looking or yellow looking rivet nuts so let's go and make those holes bigger here is that special bit which i will be using right now so it's for uh, enlarging the holes you wear your eye protection because there will be a bunch of shavings metal shavings falling down and i just carefully stand up making this bigger here you can see that rivet nut which we will be installing in let's see if it fits yet almost just tiny bit bigger for that you will use this special tool you can hopefully see it that is a m6 thread on the top and you just screw it on in the open position you insert it in this opening and you carefully slowly close it all the way now i'm unscrew it right here and that nut that rivet nut it's perfectly installed right here let me give you a close-up so here you go that nice little gold beauty and i will continue without you on these additional three when you are drilling here the last one be careful about these lines you don't want to drill accidentally in those now little note about these cat shields for this vehicle you can buy it from the cat shield in two versions 
aluminum, which is super light. And this one is stainless steel. And if you have a chance to compare them, grab both of them, which I have here. I can tell you, do yourself a favor and buy the stainless steel. You have no idea how heavy and good this one feels. I really, really like this one. This is the stainless steel version. Now I have prepared four mounts for four tamper-proof bolts. I need still two more. And in order to get these measurements, the catch shield guys are saying, hey, grab the shield. So actually, you don't have to remember how it belongs. This is the opening for the bracket 10 millimeter. So it cannot go the other way. It's very uh, foolproof, if I can say it this way. So the bolts which are supplied in the whole kit, just temporarily install them. You can use the washer. Of course, that whole set is coming with that tamper-proof bit. So you are using those to get it in so I have it installed loosely and now I will just feel for the play and right in middle I will mark my holes right here and I like to use this tool because it's a spring loaded punch so having it perfectly positioned I put it right in center of this hole and look what you do Right, I said there is that spring and I have perfectly marked the center here. I will do the same on this side, right in middle. Yep, that's good. And I can remove the shield. I perfectly see that mark right there. So I will grab this high end drill bit and running it on the slow speed. I will start drilling that hole in the body of this Prius. You don't have to be worried. The orange cable, the high voltage cable, it's visible right here. So we know we will not end up drilling in that or the fuel line or anything like that. After I made it through with this drill bit, I go back to the other one I was using previously and I will enlarge this one to make it ready for another goldie and it perfectly fits, perfect. So I will again install it on my tool all the way down and I'm installing another nut. Yeah, hey, this is awesome. And I will repeat this exactly same thing on the other side. Here is very quick close up on this nut. Before I will start installation, there is a three pieces of rubber stripping there is a self sticky self adhesive tape on it as you can see i'm struggling to remove it but maybe this way here we go so there is the tape already and to prevent a rattle and any kind of unwanted vibration and noises the cat shield is saying this should totally prevent that. So let's see how easy it is. And only after that I will be going uh, to install everything with the supplied bowls, washers and so on. It's all stainless steel, super high quality, not only 
the shield but also the supplied hardware so I can recommend this obviously to anybody who owns the Prius and is willing to take this extra step to hopefully prevent the theft of the catalytic converter. I have prepared one of these bolts with that spring washer. Come on, just show it camcorder. Is it so difficult? See it here? Uh, there is a spring washer and a large washer. I'm coming with that rubbery tape up. I will place it roughly in the correct position and start with one of those bolts. So for the rear, you are using the longer bolts. So there is a spring washer and that normal size washer. <clears throat> then you supposedly continue through. Here it's a spacer to keep it away from that exhaust. And they say there is a one large washer. I look in the manual, that's what they want. So I will follow doing that. I don't want to argue with them. I know what they are doing. I'm just the grease monkey. Uh-oh, not yet, not yet. First engage. And then carefully going in. So you just saw one of the rear ones. What's about this one? So first engage the tool. Only after that you start up. And again, I'm still not torquing it to the mouth. I did mark it correctly because all six bolts can nicely go in. So only after that will be the time to start torquing it. And that power tool just did the fast work. Right now I installed a special tip in this screwdriver handle and I will go around feeling it properly and start torquing it so I know it will not strip or anything like that. Yep. That's awesome. And I know <clears throat> this is actually good install. We will not have any rattles. We will just check that in a second. This is going really good. This is obviously a removable version of these shields. You are still able to service the vehicle. <coughs> that bit. I guess every tech should have it. <coughs> now, if there needs to be uh, any work done on the exhaust system or the oxygen sensors and so on. So, how did we do? Beautiful sound, but no rattle. I love it. And here you can see this shield right from underneath in its full glory installed in the place. I love it. And the last thing is to install these two stickers. The kit comes with those. So you put it somewhere on the vehicle where you want to show the thieves that this vehicle is protected and they should move on the different ones. So that's basically it. Just this week I got from Cat Shield more products for uh, different vehicles. So I need to unbox it and see what exactly are the news for, is it Tacomas or Tundras? There's a bunch of it. And I will need to invite the owners of those vehicles to my shop and we will film those installs. So make sure you are subscribed because that's all coming your way very soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.